From a life sentence to just seven years, that's what one Tulare County man is facing after a California state felony murder law reduced his sentence. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesios is here to tell us why the Tulare County District Attorney says he's upset with the consequences of this criminal friendly law. Sophia, explain. Monte Tulare County District Attorney Tim Ward says because of this laws, the victim's family now have to endure re-victimization. Re and we're seeing that here with Jesus Caton's case. It's offensive to uh, prosecutors. It's offensive, uh, more importantly, to victims of crime who sat in a courtroom years ago and heard uh, defend, uh, be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. What Tulare County District Attorney Tim Ward is referring to is Jesus Gayton's case. On Christmas morning in 2003, Gayton and other gang members attempted to carjack a man at a Visalia apartment complex. During the crime, one of the perpetrators was killed. He was not the actual killer that pulled the trigger, but under California law at the time, um, it um, basically classified um, everyone that intended to do a serious and violent felony um, as the same if during the commission of that crime someone died. Gayton was sentenced to life in prison without parole, but on April 4th, 2023, his sentence was reduced from life in prison to just seven years. Why? because of Senate Bill 1437. We've seen cases where we are no longer able to charge murder for defendants that participated in certain crimes. This bill was passed in 2018 and was supposed to help reduce prison population, but it also intended to hold people accountable if they were the actual killers, aided or assisted the actual killer with intent to kill, or were major participants in the underlying crime. But Ward says the law has a lot of gray areas. Unless you have you share in the intent that I'm going to kill the person um, that were, you know, the victim of the robbery. The legislature now says that you cannot be convicted of the murder, only the target crime, the robbery or the burglary, whatever you intend to do. This month, the Tulare County District Attorney's Office argued against Gaten's petitioning for a resentencing, saying the 2003 jury clearly decided Gaten's participation in the crime involved a great risk of violence and death and that the crime was malicious. The reason it's frustrating is we were telling the legislature when they were um, considering uh, passing this bill, and we told the governor that it is going to have unintended consequences and that murderers are going to get released. But as it turns out, it appears that uh, Mr. Gayton is the exact kind of criminal that the legislature intended to benefit. After the resentencing, Gayton is now convicted of attempted carjacking with a prior strike. I did reach out to both Democratic Senator Nancy Skinner and former Republican Senator Joel Anderson, who wrote the bill for comment about these consequences of it, but I did not hear back. Monty? There should be a lot of strong feelings about this one. Thank you, Sophia. Tulare County District Attorney's Office says it has received more than 200 petitions from convicted murderers now requesting lower sentences since this law passed. About 48 have been resentenced with nine defendants being released. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.